Norway has strong and well-established relations with all our neighbors in the north, including broad-based cooperation in areas such as fisheries, research, the environment, search and rescue, nuclear safety and security, health, education, business, energy, and not least culture, people-to-people -people contacts, and indigenous issues. Dialogue across borders is crucial. So the Arctic region is a, a peaceful region and is guided by the same laws that applies everywhere else. And I would especially like to mention the uh, UN law of the high seas. And also the Arctic Council is the main body for peaceful cooperation in the region with the participation of all eight Arctic nations of six indigenous uh, organizations recognized by the Council. The Arctic Council's mandate is to cover issues relating to climate change, the environment, and sustainable economic development. The United Nations Convention of the Law of the Sea provides the fundamental framework when it comes to environmental protection, research, international borders at sea, and shipping. Norway supports cooperation with non-Arctic states based on respect for international law and within the framework of existing cooperation structures. Other regional organizations, such as the Euro-Arctic Barents Cooperation and the Northern Dimension Cooperation, are also active in the region with Norwegian participation. However, the current security climate globally, the search for marine resources, and the importance of the Arctic as a laboratory for climate change are leading to growing international interest in the region. Of course, there are security issues arising in, in the Arctic from climate change and from a lot of out-of-area attention. The notion that some people have that the Arctic is a sort of a lawless frontier is simply not true, and that should not guide anyone's uh, view of the region. To counter misconceptions of the Arctic, Norway engages globally to inform and share our perspectives. Public policy papers and open discussion in Parliament are also meant to make Norwegian strategy in the Arctic transparent and accessible to all. Norway and Canada are both founding members of the NATO Alliance. We conduct military exercises and training in the North, which, together with our international allies, are a sign of solidarity and important to maintain security and peace in the North and elsewhere. As close allies, Norway and Canada work to keep the Arctic stable and peaceful.